hello so this is a kodak i4650 scanner and i'm going to be doing the servicing um, of the inner part of this scanner to be able to remove dust and debris and all kinds of staple pins inside so the first thing i'm going to do is to remove this rail you can see inside if you have a kodak i4650 scanner you will see this silver rail inside most of the time this traps a lot of dust and staple pins that end up affecting the movement of your document when you want to print over time so today i'm going to show you how to remove it and then get the, the debris out so to do that you're going to get the uh, your normal top screw screwdriver and you're going to take remove the rail you can see the rail is the one with silver color the silver panel inside you're going to gently remove it but before you start removing it remember to place a, a, a piece of paper just at the bottom when you flip your scanner this way remember to place a piece of paper underneath underneath it so that when you remove the the silver rail the debris that is going to pour out will pour on the paper and yeah, you can just remove it later so that is what i have been able to do and now i'm trying to take out all the screws one by one so after taking out the screws you notice that you see a lot of uh, debris and doors and then particles piece of pieces of paper staples pin are going to fall out of this so which is why I advise you to put a, a white piece of paper underneath so as to prevent um, your the staple pin from getting into other parts of the, the scanner. So I've done a video earlier showing you how I was able to all apply grease to the gears and the rollers on the on the each on each side of this particular scanner both on the left side and on the right side you can just subscribe to my channel and then go through my channel you'll see a couple of videos there that i did on this particular on this kind of scanner i Kodak Colaris i4650 scanner where i showed you how to apply grease to the gears and rollers I did a lot of servicing on it so this is like a part two of it where I, should, where I will be showing you how to service the inner part of the, the scanner so today I'm going to be so this is the white piece of paper that I kept under so with this white piece of paper once I remove the rail inside all the particles on the staple spin are going to fall on this paper then I can just remove it gently and pour it out later so today I, I am going to be working on uh, the, the imaging guide, I'm going to clean it up, I'll remove it, bring it out, then I'll clean it up. Uh, I'll also clean other parts of, of, of the scanner, so just stay with me and then uh, remember when you're doing this you have to flip it, it's better you flip it this way that I did. Just take your time, be gentle with the This scanner is very, very heavy, so you might need to get a, a help, somebody, a, another extra hand apart from you to be able to do this. So just put the scanner on its side like this and then remove the silver railings. Remember to put paper on that while doing that. So while, while removing the screw, remember there are some screws that are hidden on that. On that is, is the silver rail that you have to just get um, as, um, across to. That is why I'm using a, a small screwdriver like this that I can just manipulate and then get access to those screws and remove them gently.
okay so um, I've, I've removed the paper right now and you can see the debris inside like I'll show you now let me see if my camera can get access to those debris inside I'm going to remove the other silver panel inside there's one more silver panel that is remaining inside which I'm going to take out right now this is the silver panel you can see after taking out the silver panel you can see a whole lot of dust debris pieces of paper staple pins that are locked here this can prevent the movement of your document and uh, seize prevent um, the rollers from moving freely the way or to so i'm going to take it out so to be able to take out this those particles you are going to be needing a magnet to have a magnet inside the magnet there to be able to magnet to be able to magnet all the all the uh, staple pins there and bring it out gently i won't advise you to use a a blower because if you use a blower these dust particles can get into other areas of this scanner that you don't want to so right now i'm removing the imaging guide this is the imaging guide i am going to be cleaning them right now to be able to clean this imaging guide you're going to get your brush and gently brush the, this way gently brush this way and then you can get your tissue paper I'll prefer a piece of fruit than a tissue paper because tissue paper can leave particles on on the glass itself so I'm going to get a piece of fruit like this with my mind as a proper cleaning liquid remember the liquid you'll be using shouldn't be harsh and if you're going to use any form of alcohol remember to dilute with a little water so that is it it is done i am going to remove this is the upper imaging guide that I'm taking out. Remember we have the upper and the lower imaging class. So I've been able to remove the one on top. I'm going to remove the lower one right now. So just with your brush, brush generally. So I'm going to remove the other the other glass on top. So while you're removing this particular component, there is the glass on top of beside the, the imaging guide. Remember that there is a cable as a motor, so there's a cable attached to the motor. So when you're removing it, you have to pull it out gently so as not to break the cable or cut the cable in any way so here, here is it I'm going to detach the cables from it now there's a motor attached to it I'm going to detach the cable you have to be very careful so as not to cut the cable so gently detach the cable This is it, it is out. So with my brush, I'm going to brush it out evenly, gently. So I, um, I have my, my liquid, this is my lubricant, uh, uh, lubricant, so I'm going to apply to the, 
to the gears on the side there just just the drops you can apply two to three drops on it uh, the kind of liquid grease I'm using is uh, it's not corrosive at all it's not harmful to, to the gears in any way so okay I've been able to clean out all this part right now and then I will fix them back so gently remember to clip the, the motor remember to clip the cable that is attached to the motor the motor that is on top of the that is beside the imaging glass so after this I'm going to I'm going to uh, put the imaging guide back in its position. So gently clean out the rollers gently then I, you're going to get the um, grease to the rollers on each side of the, the scanner to be able to do this here, yeah, I'm going to use a screw to apply the liquid grease to it. So one more time, I'm going to clean the, the imaging guide again. That is a laser, you have to be very careful, that is a laser scanner inside this imaging glass. So you have to be very, very careful with it. So I'm not damaging it in any way. So the imaging glass is going back inside, back to its position right now. So remember, after taking out all these uh, parts and servicing and cleaning, remember to confirm that all the parts are complete and fixed in its position. Just go through all of them one by one and confirm that you've placed all the parts in its right position and all of them are back in their position. So now that I've placed all the parts in their position, I'm going to 
close it up and then I'll do test prints to see the result of um, the stand up look. So this is it, now it's ready, I'm going to scan the document and then um, to the front is Everything is, is fine, so um, thank you and I'll see you.